Hello dear friends, today we will talk about the beauty and beautiful things created by God. To be more specific, we will talk about music, paintings, photographs, sculptures and musical instruments. Now, at the outset I must say that the exalted prophet and his noble companions had beautiful aesthetic sense. They could never declare these things haram or forbidden because the Quran makes things very clear. Let's look at uh, Surah Araf, Surah 7, verse 32 and kindly check it out yourself. Who is there to forbid the beauty that God has brought forth for His servants and the good things of sustenance? One mistake that the Muslims make is that they either condemn a certain thing completely or they approve it completely. It's not the things that are bad or good in themselves. It's our use of them that makes them good or bad. I remember several years ago the greatest evangelist of America, Billy Graham, was answering a question on the television and he seemed very per perplexed. He said, I don't know why God has created evil. The Quran was not in front of him. If you see Surah 130, 113 in the Quran, you see, قُلْ عَوْزُ بِرَبِّ فَلَقِدْ مِنْ شَرِّ مَا خَلَقْ I seek refuge in the Lord of the dawn from the evil aspects of the things that he created. Evil aspects. So it's our use of music, pictures, sculptures, the beautiful things in life that makes them good or bad, even let's say the television, photography, all those things. Looking at the history, we see that the exalted prophet and his noble companions, they never considered these things haram because uh, the Quran does not declare them forbidden at all. The ahadith in, on this subject are most certainly fabricated. I can give you one example and you can decide for yourself. There is a hadith in Saha Sitta which says, the exalted prophet said, I have been sent only so that I can break the stringed instrument, sarangi. What can be a greater insult for that greatest man, man who ever stepped on earth? His mission was far too glorious to bring a benevolent revolution, the greatest revolution the earth has seen forever. He was the mercy for the world. So to confine his mission just to break musical <laughs> a musical instrument is a great insult. Then there are certain things said among the Muslim circles that if a house has uh, pictures or photos, uh, the angels of blessings do not enter the fuel, do not enter that house. That's again without any foundation, this statement, not borne out by the Quran. The history tell, tells us that when the exalted prophet migrated from Makkah to Medina. The Medina girls went on their rooftops and they were singing 
celebrating playing duff the drum and welcoming the exalted prophet he never stopped them then there are many reports in history that the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam used to encourage his wives to see the dancers singing on musical instruments by the habashis from ethiopia inside the masjid nabawi and outside in 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 the ground one more thing that we need to remember is whatever is uh, declared halal jaiz or uh, permissible in the heavens cannot be forbidden in the earth in that case nauz billah god will be a hypocrite no uh, for example he forbids alcohol in this world he allows it in the heavens but he makes it very clear that the alcohol consumed here that does becloud our mind but the one in the heavens in paradise does not becloud becloud the minds of the dwellers of the gardens we also see repeatedly yahbarun that word is the key word that the dwellers of the paradise will have companies they will sit down together and join beautiful music singing lahn daudi the singing of daud alayhi salam is very famous among our ulama and they never raise any objection he used to sing very well he had beautiful instruments and uh, when we come to his son solomon the great uh, his empire was and throughout decorated with paintings sculptures statues pictures and musical instruments there used to be music played or all around his kingdom so a prophet of god if he did first of all he won't do a wrong thing suppose he did then the quran would have snubbed him right away that he did wrong no we don't find that uh, for that you should see surah saba 34 verse 13 coming back to surah araf 7 verse 35 we see that allah has forbidden only lewdness those things that uh, curb the human potential unjust aggression and shirk associating any other with the un- unity of god If we see Surah Zukhruf 4370 verse 70 it says that the dwellers of the paradise will be entering the garden singing rejoicing to their abode to their beautiful abode so where is the prohibition for music no not in this world not in the hereafter now here in this uh, world even our uh, our clergy they say that dolls for children's play are forbidden because they have uh, some human shape and anyone who draws a picture would have to put ruh or spirit into it the quran does not say that it discards these things as nonsense just before those hadith came into being uh, so i think very briefly we have touched the subject let us please remember that the only authority for muslims is the quran nothing else if we leave aside the quran and follow human beings 
we are guilty of committing shirk. May Allah protect us from that. Thank you very much for listening. May God bless you.